Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust, where we are ready to return to the DLC slash Ulusil. As promised at the end of the last episode, I came back to the bonfire to rest up because I think it is time to take out Mr. Artorius. I was just thinking that I am like really, really hoping that there is some way out of this DLC earlier. Uh, that I don't have to complete the whole thing with the fucking spear. Not that I couldn't. This is my main weapon, but you know, at the point where I am, I really would like to get the great sword of Artorius if possible. That would be very, very nice to instead of having to struggle through everything else. Although technically it's just manas, really, but. We will see, we will see. I am kinda suspecting that you can't get out of here. But, again, there have been more surprising things happening in this DLC. So, Artorius. Haven't fought him in a long time. Pretty much since my last playthrough of this game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But let's go! I don't know if there's going to be a gimmick here. I don't think so. Uh, I would be very surprised if there was any gimmick to the DLC fights because... While they're the DLC fights, they're probably some of the best boss fights in the game. So don't fuck with these, please. God, he's cool. I wonder if they're going to add his cut dialogue. Um... If you don't know, he has cut dialogue as well. Maybe not. Apparently, like the initial idea. Playing like an asshole. That was a rocky start. So yeah, he has cut dialogue like this. I think the idea was supposed to be that you would meet him before this fight. Somewhere in like NPC form. Um, because that's kind of what his dialogue indicates. I mean, they used it differently here. But that was always my impression. Man, it would be nice to rebuff. Because I'm kind of dealing bunk damage to him. It's all good, though. Then he gets a lot more defense there. I mean, I've always said this, but as far as knight type enemies go in souls, this guy really is the cream of the crop. I think he's like the most enjoyable uh, armored humanoid type enemy. Probably in the series. He's just like got a perfect mix of tough but very fair moves. And he's varied too, like he does a lot of attacks. So I always I always like this fight. It's not very difficult once you get like really used to him. But you know. That R2 does a lot of fucking damage. G 
GG Zartorius. The only thing is he kind of has a bitch voice, um, but we, wanna, we don't mind that. We just got the Abyss Greatsword, which, I'm going to be honest with you, might just solve all our fucking problems. 2518. Okay. Is that what the normal one has, too? Enter the Gzeeb. The Gzeeb? Yeah. Um... I'm guessing then that that's what the normal greatsword has as well. Which means I don't fucking have the stats for it. Um, but we can solve that. I'm not going to be able to give my soul to, or his soul to Kieran if she even spawns. Well, no, she doesn't spawn because she's a boss, isn't she? I mean, I'm gonna go in here to have a look, but pretty sure this is not active because one this should kind of like lock you out of. Like you can't play online because Steam is gonna like finger you if it finds out you're using mods because it can't differentiate whether you're using a like a gameplay mod like this or whether you're cheating. So. Please tell me. I don't have one, do I? Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that was my ticket out of here, unless it just stays in the DLC. Oh, fuck. Well, good thing though, if I get a deformed bronze coin, I should be able to get out of here, technically. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because there was another um, kind of gravestone, well, not gravestone, what is it? Um, casket here. But maybe it just leads there. Whatever. What I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna pop a couple of souls. Maybe get a couple of levels. I technically could use the Abyss Greatsword now, two-handed. Well, let's just check it out. It should do a lot of damage, although the issue is I can't upgrade it. So maybe... Yeah, this should... This should ain't good. From an idea that... Well, you know. Okay. And then let me check my... Partisan. Obviously it's gonna do more damage. Like, there's very little chance this isn't gonna do more damage. Yup. Hmm. I was blasted. There's a shit ton of these guys. I hate these sorcerers. These sorcerers are mad annoying. Uh, snipers. Like, they really have an uncanny ability to just, like, fucking pew pew you from really far away. Although, your boy does have... Something just died. Your boy does have the bow and arrow, which I've not been using. So anyways, I'm recording again when it's daytime. Um, really much better when I look like just a fucking blob on screen on face cam. Unless you enjoy blob version of me. 
It looks like I'm like a fucking floating head sometimes. But yeah, it's a three day weekend. Um, here in Hungary, March 15th. Which of course doesn't mean jack shit this year because nothing is happening. Um, but I did go out hiking with the dog yesterday, which if you <coughs> follow me on Instagram, god damn I hate these enemies. If you follow me on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead, you can see what I'm up to outside of the YouTubes. It's always in the description. Just a uh, hint hint. Yeah, I was out hiking in this town. This town? Grammar. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. Apparently you've forgotten how to speak English. So there's this town near where I live. Kind of mountainous or hilly. Not, not really mountainous. So went for a bit of a hike. Okay, that's like the second copy of Cast Light. We got one for free as well. It's all good. Um, because the weather was really, really good. And, you know, because I usually go with the dog. Do you see, the advantage of having a dog is because dogs are up early and they always bug you for their breakfast um, and wake you up. The advantage of that is that you, if you go somewhere, you basically get to kind of get in front of everyone because despite us being in lockdown, um, everybody was hella going everywhere yesterday because the weather was so good. So the advantage with the dog is, again, you can like get ahead of everyone. What the hell? That was really weird. It's been a long time since I fought this guy. Oh, how cool would it be if they added the fucking kick move? It's such a shame that this kick move ne never made it into anything. There should have been like a something like Chester's Ring, which gave you the kick and... Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, like Chester's Ring, which would have given you the kick and the ability to fight the crossbow that quickly. I would have been all over that shit. If that actually existed. But it doesn't. Why am I not using my fucking pyromancies? So yeah, that's what I did yesterday. And for the first time this year, we were able to sit out in the garden, because that's how good the weather was. Uh, it's still kind of windy though, but you know, that's always like a monumental occasion. The first, first day of the year where you can be outside. I need to cast light for this. Oh, I hate. The biggest is just I'm terrible at avoiding them, but these guys can get fucked seriously. I'll need to come back here anyways with cast light. Oh, thank fuck for that. As in that these guys are gone from here. Because they put two of these guys here in the vanilla game and it's mad annoying. Probably the place I get killed most. And, I don't think I would have checked if that was a Mimic, if I didn't drop on it. Although that might be a Mimic. I almost just walked off, uh, which would have provided the trademark Mr. Sketchhead fall to the death. Uh, that is, 
That happens in every single episode. I mean, poverty. Damn, roast me like that. Um, if you don't know, my contract states that I'm obligated to fall to my death on every single stream and almost every single episode. It's just in there. And it's just how I do it. If you're wondering. I'm really like... I'm thinking whether I should go back or not. Or whether... With two Estus flasks. Okay, I'm apparently taking... What the shit? I was thinking I was taking this guy along for the ride. Um. So yeah. That's the deal with the falls. Now you are a mimic in... Oh, they switched it. That's just... That's the thing. Nice, a slab. A slab. Get fucked. I'm taking a risk here. Um, God. It's just a, you know, force a habit, because these guys 100% look like enemies that are easily staggered. And, okay, this is a different layout. And the reality is they are not. This is not a good idea. In fact, it's such a not good idea that I'm gonna homeward bomb back because if I don't, I'm, it's like a million percent that I'm gonna die. One more. One more, and I'm there. I'm assuming the vanilla Artorius' greatsword has the same stats. I think the only difference is the um, the need for faith and int. I haven't decided if this is a good idea yet. I guess it depends on how long their aggro range is. I can hear like a million of them coming after me. Yeah. Conga line. Shit. Oh, okay. This is why. Oh, okay. That's a dick move. That's a dick move. Um. So we pretty much gotta go through these assholes every single time, at least partially. And they do stun easily, it's just the... Not sure if that was the smartest move. Yeah, they just put like a shit ton more of these guys everywhere. I mean, it's good for souls. But not good for anything else. So we pretty much have to go down there and kill that one. Because the worst situation you could be in with these uh, dark magic blasting fucks is when they're shooting from behind you because it's like impossible to tell when they're attacking you know I don't normally play this game wait wasn't there one here 
shit, I forgot cast light. God damn it. Whatever. Hey, 420. 420 plus. It's 4200. Cool. Where the... Oh, okay. God, I hate jumping in this game. The question is, do the ones above you aggro? I gotta get, like, ambushed from behind. I don't think so. Oh, yes, I am. Just delayed. See, I heard them, like, shuffling around there, like... For sure. And yes, if you saw me checking my phone before, it's because I once again forgot to check the time before hitting record. Yeah. God, that's a terrible place. Terrible? I was trying to say terrible. Terrible. Uh, I'm gonna need to like book it somewhere. Like in here. Just checking. There's nothing following me. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, you can backstab these enemies. There's like a shit ton of them. I can hear them all shooting at me. Nice. Favorite piece of gear in the game. You know, the thing is that... The enemy placement is... Mad dickish in this game. <laughs> or in this mod, I should say. In this mod. Um, they like really don't fuck around, but I guess that's you know, if you're an experienced Souls player, after a while you just kind of know how to be an asshole, and there's no like other way to say it. You know, I could come up with really shitty enemy placements as well, if I wanted to. But that's kind of... Wait, isn't, isn't this supposed to be the key? I th think that was supposed to be the key. That for sure doesn't drop Dark Bead in the vanilla game. Okay, he can't hit me here. Question is No, come on. Come on. No. Drop attack. Kill this one. It's a bit of a panic moment. Especially when I got the corpse of <laughs> Nice. Get on my level, Oberyn Martell. That's what people always call this weapon. This is the Oberyn Martell weapon. I'd say... It's this in terms of looks, but the moveset... Is more like a twin blade from Dark Souls 2. God, I missed uh, fucking Game of Thrones when it was good. I mean, it's obvious that the books are not happening. Um, like, that's a... We might as well give up on the books, which is... A real shame, because, you know, I almost... And I am really glad that I never started reading A Song of Ice and Fire, because... Like, you know, when Game of Thrones was at its height, in terms of popularity, uh, people were 
like recommending it to me all the time. It's like a Song of Ice and Fire, Song of Ice. It's so good, so good. Winds of Winter is coming out like this year. And that was in like uh, 2013. And it hasn't come out since. And the series finished and the ending was... <clears throat> well, without spoilers, but it was... <clears throat> that's what it was. What keeps dying? That's really strange. And you know, just it's just disappointment city. Um, I again have no earthly idea how long I've been going. I can't be going for too long, honestly. So I think we've got time to go back down. So yeah, um, I'm glad because I've made that mistake before when I used when I started reading. Oh shit! I read the first book of the what is it called? King Killer Chronicles, I think. And the second one came out of Wise Man's Fear. I can't believe I'm talking. I'm such a fucking nerd. But you know, reading is good for you kids. Read more. Ah, uh, that's today's life lesson from Uncle Sketchhead. I gotta check it out. I'm, I, I got so excited I bumped into my table. That's gonna sound lovely on the microphone. Uh, so yeah, read kids. That's life lesson from Uncle Sketchhead right here. Uh, and the second one came out. It sucked. I didn't read it and the third one never happened. So... That's really the... Just, there's just like, you gotta take these guys out. You gotta take them out. Um, where the fuck are my... I... Hmm... I hate that enemy so much. Like, seriously, where the fuck is my blood stain? Am I stoned? Don't tell me it got stuck down the stairs somehow. Like, it didn't register me coming up here. Bruh. This is where I died. I just want to give the guy my deformed, bo deformed bronze coin. Try saying that quickly three times in a row. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, I, I was going to say that American network television is like the master of fucking cliffhanging a TV series and then canceling it. I've been through that experience a couple of times. Although now Netflix is doing it as well. And just like the the random cancellation. But you know, it's a business, isn't it? It's not much you can do about it. I have a feeling um that I'm going to be disappointed. I have like a real feeling. So I'm preparing myself. I'm not disappointed. In fact, I'm very happy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is... I cannot believe it. 
This is so good. Thank you. Thank you, fast travel. You are a godsend. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we will travel to Anorlond. It's gonna be a long journey because Anorlondo... The Anorlondo one is... Where is the Anorlondo one? I'm gonna find out. It's not like somewhere... It is in the right place. It's right here. Oh, this is mad good. They knew. They knew to make this as easy as you as you as it's as possible. <clears throat> Twenty. Hold on. Am I stoned? Oh, there are two versions. People said that there is two versions. So the Great Shield is from Sif. And the Great Sword is from... Hold on. Let's not have a brain fart here. Uh, that's, that does 190. 26, 60. Uh, the two versions, right? Because this is the lower damage one and it has... I think I want the one... I want this one. This is the one that has a split damage, but... Now the other one has the... Split damage too. Well, this one has higher damage though. 16 dex and 24... Am I like stoned or something? I have 24 strength. This is really strange. I'm just gonna make one. We're gonna go with it, go with the flow. Demon Titan Knight. Nice. Fucking finally. I've been... Like, struggling for this for a long time. For a long time. We need 26 strength. Which is A-OK. -okay. And people asking whether I can cosplay as Artorias. Uh, not quite there yet. In terms of the... Equip load, you know. But. We got the weapon itself. And that's all that counts. It does good damage, too. Fucking hell, are you serious? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. For oh, it shit puts me back here too. God damn it. Alright, I'll, I'll sort this out. We'll... I guess we'll start from back here or something. I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe as always. Turn on post notifications. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.